Hey guys, this is Tea Time with the Diva. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, let's get into it. This Tea Time is dedicated to all of the actors, actresses, comedians, writers that you know, give us our laughs every day when we turn on our TV. Give us our laughs when we go out to the movie theater. Give us our, you know, feel good moments and enjoyment when we go to see live shows on Broadway or wherever you go to see these shows. You know, everybody in their life, no matter what you do, I don't care where you work, Walmart, Target, um, you're an actor, you're an actress, um, whatever you do, we all work hard and we love it when we get to have our downtime and our moments to enjoy creative arts and, um, you know, just, you know, activities out there in the world. Well, unfortunately, right now, the writers, the actors, the actresses, they're on strike. They're on strike. And one of the, you know, high level executives was quoted as saying that they're going to wait to go back to the table to negotiate with everybody until these people lose their houses and are financially, you know, bankrupt and financially ruined, which is so sad and so evil. Talking about American greed. Well, Billy Porter is one of the first ones to come out and say, listen, I live check to check. You know, I know when we see people on our screen, we all directly think they're rich and they're living a glamorous life because every time we perhaps may see them on the red carpet or out and about getting caught by the paparazzi, you know, they're all glammed up. And we just get these assumptions in our head that they just have tons of money. Well, Billy Porter said, I live check to check. And as a result of this strike, I am going to have to sell my house, which I think is so incredibly sad. Listen, guys, we're going to get more into this story right after this. <laughs> Now, guys, we're going to go right ahead and get right into this story. So I will share my screen with y'all. So Billy Porter states he has to sell his house due to Hollywood strikes, and he lives check the check, okay? And many people, even the experts say this, they said um, many people are one to two checks away from poverty. And that is why during the um, pandemic that we had a few years ago, the government had to step in and just give people extra money because they knew that the unemployment check that many people were getting was not going to sustain them. And they would have lost their housing. They would have lost their livelihood. And we would have been dealing with, you know, the homeless or the unhoused at a higher level than we currently dealt with it if the government didn't step in at that time and give people some extra money. And I wish for... um a lot of these writers, a lot of these actors and actresses, you know, that the government would step in and help them so that they wouldn't go through what Billy Porter is currently going through, the fact that he has to sell his home. So Billy Porter stated he's making major financial cuts to make it through the ongoing Hollywood strike. He said, I have to sell my house, the Post star recently told the Even Standard. Porter went on to explain that the major financial decision is due to the current strike of the Writers Guild of America, WGA, and the Screen Actors Guild, SAG, which began May 2nd and July 14th, respectfully, which is so sad. He said, I don't know when we're going back. The life of an artist until you make um, F you money, which I haven't made yet, is still check the check. Um, Porter added. The former Broadway star shared he was supposed to work in an upcoming movie and a TV show in September, but none of this is happening now. 
So um, to the person who said, we're going to starve them until they have to sell their apartments, you already starved me out. Porter's comments were in a real executive actually said that. He said, we're not going to go back to the table with any of these people until we starve them to the point where they lose everything. And how evil is that? Porter's comments were in reference to the rumors that executives would allow things to drag on until union members start losing their apartments and losing their ha houses per deadline. That's another um, publication. In his interview, Porter also blasted Disney CEO Bob for claiming that WGA and SAG strikers were not being realistic with their demands. The business has evolved, Porter 53 said, before noting the industry has changed due to streaming services becoming a main source of income for media giants, right? So to the um, contract... Um, so the contract has to evolve and change, he said, period. To hear Bob say that our demands for a living raise are unrealistic while he makes $78,000 a day. Can you imagine? But you know what? This is not just in the arts world, so to speak. This is across the board. You'll have people, you know, working for Walmart, Target, and, you know, the the worker bees, I'm going to pretty much say, the worker bees are making maybe $15, $16 an hour. And then the, as you go up the level, you're getting people make $30, $40, $50 an hour. You're getting the execs and the CEOs of these companies making millions and getting million dollars in bonuses. And the people that are making $15, $16 and, and staying there all night doing overtime during the holidays, they don't even get bonuses, some of them. So it's so sad how the high level executives make all of this money, enough money where they could take care of not just themselves, but family members, uh, friends, strangers, if they really wanted to. But then you have the people that are doing the grunt work, doing the hard work, and they can't even survive or pay their bills. It's so sad. He said, I don't have any words for it, but F you, he simply said. But that's not useful. So I've kept my mouth shut. Porter, who has been staying in London for the summer, added, I haven't engaged because I'm so enraged. When I get back, I will join the picket lines. And I think that is Porter. Um, yeah, that is. That's Porter's ex-husband. And they actually um, um, have since split up. So, again, guys, I think this whole situation is so sad. I am praying and I hope that y'all are also praying for these individuals. I actually will play this also really quickly. Let's hear um, this right here. Hold on one second. Fran Drescher, also an actress. Conference today, it's really important that this negotiation be covered because the eyes of the world and particularly the eyes of labor are upon us. What happens here is important because what's happening to us is happening across all fields of labor by means of when employers make Wall Street and greed their priority and they forget about the essential contributors that make the machine run. We have a problem. And we are experiencing that right at this moment. This is a very seminal hour for us. I went in in earnest thinking that we would be able to avert a strike. The gravity of this move is not lost on me or our negotiating committee or our board members who have voted unanimously to proceed with a strike. It's a very serious thing that impacts thousands, if not millions of people all across this country and around the world. Not only members of this union, but people who work in other industries that service the people that work in this industry. And so it came with great sadness that we came to this crossroads, but we had no choice. We are the victims here. We are being victimized by a very greedy entity. I am shocked by the way the people that we have been in business with 
are treating us. I cannot believe it, quite frankly, how far apart we are on so many things, how they plead poverty, that they're losing money left and right when giving hundreds of millions of dollars to their CEOs. It is disgusting. Shame on them. They stand on the wrong side of history at this very moment. We stand in solidarity, in unprecedented unity. Our union and our sister unions and the unions around the world are standing by us. How sad is that? And she is correct, this crosses many industries, as I stated, okay? There's so many people in the world that they work so hard, they give their blood, sweat, and tears to companies and jobs, and they get pennies, and everybody up above is sitting on these fat checks, and they'll tell you, oh, we're cutting, you know, we got to watch the budget, we got to this, we got to that. It's no, watch the budget with your little people, Gonna watch the budget with your worker bees and all of us up above. We're sitting pretty. We can take our family on vacation. We get nice bonuses. We can make all this money. And your worker bees, y'all do what y'all do because we there's no money. We don't have it. It's very sad. Anyway, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, people. Hit the like button. And I'll see you on the next video.